sweaty. I'm just generally such high humidity here. In Dutch we call it Chinese Muir, yeah. so I always make... I mean, it um, is the Chinese wall. It is the Chinese wall. Everyone would know what you meant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, anyway, as you can see from our faces, it is incredibly humid here. I think it's close to like 80 to 90 percent humidity. Yeah, at least. <laughs> um, as you can see from the fog as well, because it looks cold, but it's actually, I think, about 20 to 24 degrees. It's a really nice temperature. It's just uh, it's a really nice temperature. Yeah. The humidity it's just, is hot. It's sweat. The sweat like just like drips here. off you. My back is incredibly wet. Um, so <laughs> I would recommend to keep your clothes light. Um, take a little towel against the sweat and don't put on any makeup because you will look like you just went swimming with your makeup. Basically. Yeah, drink lots of water. Drink lots of water as well. Um, definitely, I think if it was sunny, like we're lucky today. That is standard advice of a hat, sun cream. I think a hat, even particularly here, because you're, you're very yeah. exposed. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for now. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will tell you more about tickets, but we literally want to do the rest of this. We want to get right up to the top there. <laughs> it's not going to happen, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> It's poncho time. It's literally raining. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put on a poncho. I've, really, really I've got a poncho as well. I think it's probably gonna be too small for me as well, to be fair. Let's have a look. It's just like a bin bag. 
Oh, that does look small. Oh, maybe. <laughs> it's already ripped. I've already ripped it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> the shittest thing I've ever equipped myself with. I mean, <laughs> hold on. I put my hand through this. <laughs> Better than nothing? I don't know. Maybe. That's like the same Put yours on. Yeah. You're going to have more luck than me because it's going to fit you. Bob, come. Let's show them how it's done. It's quite hard to do as well because obviously like our skin is wet, one from the rain and one from well, sweat. An umbrella would be preferable uh, to this, I would say. I should have brought an umbrella in Minnesota so because I thought they were so cute. But then I was like, we live in Dubai. Well, Lisa didn't manage to rip hers. Whereas mine completely disintegrated. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of you and yours. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Like it's so ripped. distinguish whether my hair was wet from sweat or from rain and that's a positive I think It's not that bad. <laughs> huh? Vertigo. This is less scary than the other one. The other one had just a sheer drop on one side. Disclaimer, I have vertigo. Actually, first of all, it's a lot of steps. As you can see, it's all the way up the top. 
and I'm incredibly scared of falling because I'm a bit scared of heights. Um, but I'm I'm just trying to do this. You just want to get to the first one, don't we? Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Have you feel? <laughs> okay, so I really want to do this. <laughs> Even though I'm shit scared. Um, I found that what works is basically to do, doing 10 steps at a time because 10 is such a small number and you just concentrate, focus on counting to 10 and then you turn around and the 10 is over so I think that's like the best way to do this if you have vertigo If you don't it's just quite a hard set of stairs but it's fine otherwise It's incredibly hard If you're the scared stairs, I imagine it's quite hard The stairs are uneven as well yeah. and it's, it's slippery because it's wet so it's like peak vertigo yeah peak, well peak pants shitting scared could be alright honey I'm okay <sighs> tired <sighs> just a bit of an early start it's not too bad like I think if I had slightly better shoes, I've got Converse on, it's a little bit... Well, I saw a girl on flip-flops. That was terrible. Idea. And the, 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 those two French girls, and I think they were bloggers or something, because they had makeup on, and they looked way too, like, dressed up. They were wearing, like, summer sandals. I think you've got to wear, like... For walking shoes? Walking shoes would be better. Converse is fine, it's just the hard surface gets on your uh, nerves after a while. Yeah. Okay, so we have this one. So we have a walk through a cloud. Okay, so we basically we stranded here um, because the stairs further down they get very steep and I just like I get scared looking at them. Uh, yeah, laugh at me. Basically, it's alright. If you have any tips to overcome vertigo, please tell me. Like I'm I'm okay being high, but just like being unsecure is the thing. Like knowing that I can fall and basically die a bit. It's so inhibiting as well because I can't do ski. Or like I'm really scared when it. I'm skiing. No, like falling when you're skiing is less bad than falling here. Yeah, I mean here you're dead. No, you probably right. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like always an option. There's anyway. lots of people to catch you. <laughs> anyway, we just stand it here, but like the view is absolutely amazing. So I would just recommend doing 10 steps at a time until you get like to the part that is way too steep and then just enjoy the view because that's it. actually amazing. We must look, we must look absolutely gross. It's not all sweat, like I'm certain a lot of it's the humidity, <laughs> but it's, I think it feels it like it's like 90% humidity. It is incredibly <laughs> sweat inducing. Anyway, we decided to um, walk down. So you have the cable cart you can take, which is basically there. It's 100 for a single, 120 for a return. We did get yeah. a return. We, get, we got a return, but we decided to walk down because we've got some like two or three hours spare. We've got like a couple of hours. A couple of hours um, spare. And we just thought it'd be nice to walk through this very beautiful yeah, forest. Yeah, because you get really. like nice views of the, of, the, of the wall as well. Oh, there was something up my ah. Okay, something just like Land jumped on. on or landed on my finger, <laughs> and there are like massive bugs here. So. No, nah, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Anyway, we're gonna walk down. The views are absolutely, absolutely amazing when you're walking down. So I would definitely recommend walking down, walking up 
Not so much. Maybe if you have a whole day and you're you kind of quite day. energetic. If you've done one you Everest, find... you can do you can walk up. Yeah, but... I think you'd find it hard to walk up and also walk up the yeah. bit of the wall we did. But um, I don't know. Maybe walking up here is a sort of pleasure in itself. I'm not sure, but we'll we'll, we'll see how We'll tell you how to root down it. Let's do that. Yeah. I guess so. Oh, so this is not the route down, it's just the route to another part of the wall. It's a nice view anyway. It's a nice view anyway. Where's the route down then? I don't know where the route down is. Shit. Maybe. No, that's just a plate that says basically don't climb over. Uh. Basically, we have no idea where the route down is. This is just a route to another part of the wall. Beautiful route, like amazing view. Great for some great pictures, but I think we have to take the cable car down. Because no, no. That, that's like up the wall again. Yeah, but it... Yeah, I'm not sure what... Yeah, let's just take the cable car down. 